Why hello there, you? Over here. In the right corner. Careful, that's strange. Don't follow that path. I know. My appearance isn't the most appealing, but I promise you that I'm uglier on the outside than on the inside. You don't think I'm ugly? But I, I have eight legs, and only my torso is human. Doesn't matter. What brings you so deep into this cave of mine? You're an explorer. Please, please don't hurt me. I'm, I'm please, I'm begging you, don't ruin my home. You won't? Thank you. You see, every now and then a human finds its way to my home. It's either an explorer or someone who got a bit lost in this huge cave. If they are lost, I will either explain I'll show them the way out, but it's rather the explorers find their way down here, and these types of people tend to ruin this place of mine because of discovering reasons. That's why I was so scared after you said you were an explorer. Pardon me for using their voice. It's just most of them aren't even nice or try to solve things peacefully. You must be exhausted climbing all the way up here. Take a seat and tell me what exactly brought you to discover this very cave. Oh, and would you be so kind and turn that headlamp of yours out? It's shining the entire time directly into my eyes. Thank you. I can turn on this lamp so that you can still see everything. See? Way better than me. Now, tell me about your little excursion. Just for fun. Only you. That's good, I guess. My name? Well, I don't have one of those typical human names. What about... You gave me a name. A human name. I like that one. What is your name, by the way? That is a really beautiful name. It sounds like sunshine in a dark cave. <laughs> you look a bit scared, if I dare say. Is it because of my teeth? I don't eat people, so there is nothing you need to fear, especially not me. I only eat animals. Eating humans is something that I reject doing. That is why I am alone. I reject eating humans, so my kind rejects me. But you won't reject me. Oh, that's good. Now you. Would you like to eat something or rest for a bit? I'm sure your little tour down here was rather exhausting. Something to eat? Hmm. What about... Oh, I know. What about a pork pie or a lamb shanks pie? Does that sound good? But, but I can also make you a simple pumpkin pie. I love pies, you must know. It gives me a human feeling. I like that feeling since I'm not part of the human eating drivers. <laughs> the pies? I always like to take care of the creatures that sort of resemble a human or someone dear to me. That's why I would never even think about eating you. I just can't. Is it okay if I simply warm up the rest of the pie I made yesterday 
it is in fact the one that you wanted. If you insist, I can of course make you one. It's okay. Now then, just give me a second and I'll be back. The pie itself should just take a few minutes. I know that sweet stuff is actually for dessert, but you seem hungry. So just take a biscuit while you are waiting. Here, I baked them just a few minutes before you arrived. As if I knew I would have come back today. Oh, they seem to be to your likings. Delicious. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of you, human. I hope you enjoy the pie as much as you enjoy the biscuit. You are so much nicer than all these awful people. It's sad. Why did you need to trust me? Well, now it's too late. Come, let's put you down on the bed so that you can just drift off to dreamland. And eventually, to the afterlife. Everything's fine. It won't hurt, I promise. I always make sure of that. Because I'm not like them. I don't like doing this at all, I swear. But I have to. Otherwise, I would be dead by now. So just close your eyes and I'll soon be asleep. I'll be here and I'll hold you. I'll hold you until you wake up. Just like that. Don't let any bad thoughts go.